McKenzie's holding a scholar's will practice at the Daphne campus on November 16th at 1 p.m. Students are still able to sign up, so if you're interested, please contact Mr. McKenzie through his email. Keegan Golidge, a freshman at BCBSS, recently accepted a role as Ralphie Parker in A Christmas Story at the Marriott Theater in Chicago. This is his second year playing this role. Last year was on the national tour, and this year he is making his home in Chicago for the rest of the year. He began rehearsals in late October and rehearsed about eight hours a day to opening night on November 9th. He will perform eight shows a week with one day off while doing school on his off hours. He will return home on January 2nd. Congrats, Keegan, and break a leg. Doing something worth bragging about? Do you want to be showcased on the next student spotlight? Contact Ms. Payne to submit your entry. Maybe you will be the next student spotlight. Ms. Rosmondo, our school principal, was given the prestigious title of 2021-2022 Access Administrator of the Year by the Alabama State Department of Education. Earlier this year, she was awarded the Troy University Regional Access Administrator of the Year. She was selected as the recipient for the regional award first and was then selected as the state winner. All high schools with the Access program in the state competed for this prestigious award. This win is a reflection of the accomplishments that the staff and school have achieved. Congratulations, Ms. Rosmondo. We are so grateful for you. In honor of the holiday season, the Baldwin County Virtual School has several opportunities for you to get into the spirit. FBLA and SGA are hosting a food drive, and they will be collecting items until November 15th. A list of the items that they would like has been sent to your Schoology email. They will take the donated items to Prodigy Pantry. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Ms. Joy. The student government invites you all to Friendsgiving Tuesday, November 15th at 1130. The event will be hosted at the Daphne campus to eat and socialize. Everyone has been sent an email with a link to sign up. If you are planning on coming, they ask that everyone coming would sign up to bring a prepared dish. We hope everyone will get the chance to make it. SGA will also be hosting Toys for Tots this year, and there will be a box at the Daphne campus from November 1st to December 9th to drop off your toys. The Gaming Club will be meeting November 18th at 12.30 to 3 p.m. for a gaming competition. We will have our first prom committee meeting next Wednesday, November 16th from 2 to 3 p.m. For those of you near Foley, Ms. Ebert and Ms. Feely will be at the Foley campus. For those of you near Daphne, Ms. Perrin will gather you at our Daphne location. We will Google Meet so we're all together. At the meeting, we'll cover topics such as venue, theme, food, music, and photography. We hope to see you there. The first Scholars Bowl practice is November 16th at 1 p.m. If people are interested in signing up, you can email Mr. McKenzie. This is Ms. Perrin. She is the sponsor of Model UN. The next meeting for Model UN members is November 19th from 10.30 to 12. All Model UN students make sure to be there. While the club is full right now, at the beginning of the next semester, anyone who is interested in joining will have the opportunity to sign up. Contact Ms. Perrin for more information. This is Ms. Filial. She is our college and career coach and dual enrollment advisor. She is available on Thursdays to talk about anything college or career related. You can contact her through her email or schedule an appointment with her through your Schoology account. It will be linked in your Counselor Connect page. Hi all, Ms. Olson here, reminding you that we've got an approaching semester deadline, December 11th at midnight. It means all coursework, all tests, all quizzes, everything's got to be done, turned in, submitted by that deadline, December 11th, midnight. After that, that final week, we're going to take exams and then you've got Christmas break. I also want to remind you, we've got Thanksgiving break. But if you are behind, it is an excellent time to get caught up. An excellent time to get some of those pacing zeros turned in and taken care of. That's it for this week's broadcast. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week, and we will see you next time.